Bengal Cat vs Tiger Cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Bengal could never be called delicate. They're athletes, agile and graceful with a strong, muscular body, as befits a cat who looks as if they belong in the jungle. Despite their wild appearance, Bengal cats are actually quite affectionate with their human families. That said, they also have high energy and a fun-loving, playful side. They want to stay active and need a home that can match their energy. If you can fulfill the Bengal's need for exercise, you'll have a smart, loving cat who can keep you on your toes. The Tiger is a mixed breed cat, a cross between the Bengal breed and domestic shorthair tabbies. Affectionate, energetic, and playful, these kitties inherited some of the best qualities from both of their parents. Toigers make excellent family cats. Once you see the mixed breed prowling around your home, it will seem like you have a miniature tiger living with you. But while this feline is muscular and athletic, they're also a very loving and cuddlesome kitty. Bengals are a medium to large cat. Bengals weigh 8 to 15 pounds or more. The Toiger is a medium-sized cat. As is always the case with newer mixed cat breeds, exact size standards might vary. Most male Toigers weigh in at 10 to 15 pounds, and most female Toigers are between 7 and 10 pounds. The Bengal is highly active and highly intelligent. This makes him fun to live with, but he can sometimes be challenging. On the whole, the Bengal is a confident, talkative, friendly cat who is always alert. Nothing escapes his notice. He likes to play games, including fetch, and he's a whiz at learning tricks. His nimble paws are almost as good as hands, and it's a good thing he doesn't have opposable thumbs or he would probably rule the world. Fond of playing in the water, the Bengal is not above jumping into the tub or strolling into the shower with you. Aquarium and pond fish may be at risk from his clever paws. He also loves to climb and can often be found perching at the highest point he can reach in the home. A tall cat tree or two is a must for this feline, as are puzzle toys that will challenge his intelligence. On the rare occasions that he isn't swinging on chandeliers or swimming in your pool, the affectionate Bengal will be pleased to sit on your lap. It goes without saying that he will share your bed. And yes, he steals the covers. When it comes to personality, the Toyger is one of the most affectionate and loving cats around. While they have a striking big cat appearance, this is a mixed breed that will love to cuddle up with you for snuggles while you relax on the couch. Befitting such a social cat, the Toyger enjoys human company and having people around this is a cat who thrives in a busy household rather than one where they're left alone for long periods of time. The Toyger is also a super smart cat who can be trained relatively easily, and the breed is often renowned for taking to outdoor adventures on a safety leash and harness. In fact, in many cases, pet owners have trained their Toyger to play games of fetch. Unlike many other cat breeds, the Toyger is also said to enjoy playing with water, just like big cat tigers in the wild. Your Bengal cat will need all of the same immunizations and preventative health treatments as a domestic cat. They are not immune to the feline leukemia virus as their ALC ancestor is. Purebred cat breeds are more prone to genetic diseases than mixed breed domestic cats due to the fact that the gene population that they come from is smaller. Some of the conditions they can be prone to include Autosomal recessive disorder, which causes early blindness in young cats Entropion, the rolling in of the eyelids Feline infectious peritonitis, a deadly disease that results from infection by the coronavirus Toigers are still very uncommon, so there is not much history to make solid conclusions about their common ailments However, they may have a greater risk of heart murmurs. Be sure to get the usual regular checkups, preventative care, and immunizations for your Toyger. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The short, thick coat of the Bengal is easily cared for with weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. A bath is rarely necessary. The Toyger is a smart, athletic, and intelligent cat so you'll need to ensure that the mixed breed is kept physically and mentally stimulated. A cat tree or access to furniture they can safely climb up is a must. It's also advisable to provide interactive smart toys that will keep the feline sharp and satisfied. If you consider bringing your Toyger outside, make sure that you use a safety leash and harness and supervise all outdoor sessions. Along with scheduling yearly wellness vet visits, your Bengal or Toyger will need their nails checked on a regular basis and clipped around once a week. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. You'll also want to examine the cat's ears for signs of dirt building up or possible infection and clean them if needed. 
your vet can help show you the best practice for this. Also, make sure to speak to your regular vet about starting a toothbrushing regimen for your cat. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a dirty box may cause them to start using other places in the house instead. It's a good idea to keep them as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Keeping them indoors also protects local birds and wildlife from this avid hunter. If possible, build your Bengal and Toyger a large outdoor enclosure where they can jump and climb safely. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. Bengals eat what other house cats eat, cat food. But this generalization can be tricky. Many people prefer to feed a grain-free diet or raw diet to their Bengals, especially if they are of the first three generations. For most Bengal owners, purchasing a formulated, grain-free diet is the most practical way to feed their cats. Toygers don't have any special dietary requirements apart from those of domestic shorthair cats. Provide your cat with high-quality wet and dry food and give your cat access to fresh, clean water. Obesity can reduce your cat's lifespan, so discuss any weight gain with your veterinarian. The active and social Bengal is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. He's smart enough to get out of the way of toddlers but loves school-age children because they are a match for his energy level and curiosity. Nothing scares him, certainly not dogs, and he will happily make friends with them if they don't give him any trouble. Always introduce any pets, even other cats slowly and in a controlled setting. Like many active cats, Bengals have a high prey drive and should not be trusted with smaller prey animals such as hamsters, smaller rabbits, and guinea pigs. The Toyger is a great match with kids. The cat will form strong bonds with the children in your household and become like a new play pal for them. Just be sure that early socialization takes place and boundaries are properly set on both sides, and supervise early interactions between kids and cats. When it comes to other household pets, the Toyger is also usually fine around other domestic animals. Although you'll want to make sure you oversee early interactions when introducing the cat to your household. Ultimately, early socialization really pays off with these breeds. Make sure to reward your Bengals and Toyger for good behavior and adhere to a proper training regimen when you bring them home to your family. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.